the mid-range market really struggled in the 2010s, often offering subpar performance, limited software support, and lackluster cameras compared to the pricier brethren. However, the market has matured over the past few years with the trickle-down nature of tech, meaning they're now much more tempting. Mid-range phones have become increasingly popular and more impressive throughout the last half of the decade. The main objective of a mid-ranger is to offer premium feel and performance for a price that is considerably lower than that of the current flagship options on the market. Mid-range smartphones in 2024 provide numerous benefits, including robust camera capabilities, long-lasting battery life, powerful performance, and more. Premium features like wireless charging and IP68 water resistance have even started making their way into this category, although they are not yet universally available. After hours of research and after taking experts' advice, we have listed the six best mid-range phones to help you choose the one that suits you perfectly. The links for the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, pickadvisor.com. Let's get right into our top picks. Number 6. OnePlus Nord N30 5G If you don't want to spend more than $300 on a phone, the OnePlus Nord N30 5G fits the bill, with a long-lasting battery and expansive display. The OnePlus Nord N30 5G is a welcome sight for anyone who needs a new phone but lives with a constrained budget. The low price of the OnePlus Nord N30 becomes pretty apparent when you hold the phone in your hand. It's not that the Nord is cheaply designed. It's just that the plastic materials OnePlus uses won't fool anyone into thinking this is a premium handset. The glossy back of the phone is highly reflective, which can make things shiny when you're outside. On the downside, it also means the Nord N30 amplifies any fingerprints or dust that accumulate on the back of the phone. Keep a cloth handy if you like your devices looking pristine. It's also increasingly common for even budget phones to adopt fast refresh rates, and the Nord N30 doesn't disappoint there. You can switch between the standard 60Hz rate or the high mode, which ramps things up to 120Hz for smoother animations. OnePlus has earned a reputation as the phone maker to turn to when you want solid battery life and fast charging. It's good to see that approach doesn't change when you opt for one of the company's cheaper devices. It won't take you long to charge the phone either, thanks to the OnePlus Nord N30 support for 50 watt charging. Number 5. Motorola G Stylus the newest iteration of the Moto G Stylus remains to be somewhat unique in the budget Android market because it includes a stylus. The software implementation of stylus-specific features remains a highlight of the device, and so does its low price. The device features a MediaTek chipset, 4GB of RAM, and a sleek 90Hz display, providing acceptable and reliable performance. While its smaller form factor and battery have decreased the battery life of the device compared to the 2022 version, the Moto G stylus still provides ample juice to get through about two days between charges. Besides the stylus that makes a more unique option, it also has a big 6.6-inch display with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 and a maximum refresh rate of 120Hz. You also get the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 chipset from Qualcomm, meaning the phone should be plenty smooth and capable. Number 4. Samsung Galaxy A14 while Samsung's Galaxy A14 5G might not crack through to the top of this list, this is the one to beat if you only have $200 to spend on a smartphone. The A14 is a bit of an odd duck, at least in comparison to its predecessor. Rather than delivering an across-the-board boost to its specs sheet, Samsung retained nearly identical internals to the A13, the same MediaTek Dimensity 700, the same combination of 64GB of storage and 4GB of RAM, and the same camera array on the back. On paper, it's difficult to notice a huge difference between the two generations. So what is new? For starters, the design is more in line with the rest of Samsung's phones and uses the same camera island style we've seen on the Galaxy S23 series. The entire phone feels a bit sturdier in hand, and the ingrained pattern on the back is pretty eye-catching in this price range. Even better, the display received a huge upgrade to 1080p while keeping its 90Hz refresh rate. It's still an LCD panel you'll need to grab the A54 for AMOLED, but for $200, it's hard to argue with the screen quality here. Number 3. Apple iPhone SE 3rd Gen The new iPhone SE is one of the best value iPhones ever made. While it looks seriously old-fashioned by today's standards, thanks to its home button and thick bezels, 
it more than makes up for it on the inside. Despite costing less than half the price of the iPhone 13, it's still rocking the same incredibly powerful A15 Bionic processor. Despite costing more than half the price, the iPhone SE 3 uses the same speedy processor as the iPhone 13, the A15 Bionic, and its camera is up to the job too. The only fly in the ointment is that its battery life is rather short by modern standards, but that's nothing the speedy 20 watt charging can't fix. If you prefer dinkier screens for easy one-handed use, then its 4.7 inch LCD display will be an absolute joy to use, banishing overstretched thumbs for good. Number 2. Xiaomi POCO X5 Pro The POCO X5 Pro 5G is an excellent choice for those on a tight budget, offering flagship level features at an affordable price. Its 6.67 inch 120Hz AMOLED display, sleek design, and 108 megapixel primary camera make it a standout option in the mid range market. However, the X5 Pro 5G's plastic construction and MIUI software may be a turnoff for some users. Despite these drawbacks, the overall value of this device is hard to ignore, making it a top choice for budget conscious buyers. Number 1. Google Pixel 7a The Pixel 7a is an impressive mid range Android phone that combines excellent camera skills, Google's renowned software, and an affordable price tag. It has quickly become a favorite among the trusted review staff. Google's latest A series device matches many of the essential features found in its pricier counterpart, the Pixel 7, while also offering several advantages over the Pixel 6a. These advantages include convenient QI wireless charging, a generous 5 GB of memory, a faster 90 Hz screen compared to the Pixel 6a's 60 Hz, and a sturdy metal body that improves durability. The standout feature of the Pixel 7a is, as many would expect from this series, its impressive camera array. Equipped with a new 64 megapixel sensor that's far larger than the one in the Pixel 6a, it captures exceptional images in various lighting conditions, accurately rendering skin tones. In fact, it's hard to find a better phone in this price range that can match the camera performance here. Under the hood, the Pixel 7a is powered by the same Tensor G2 chip found in its higher end counterparts, the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. This chip offers satisfactory performance for its price range and handles the phone's AI features, such as call screening and voice recording with ease. There are faster, more capable mid-range phones though, including the Asus Zenfone 9. It's worth noting that the Pixel 7a's battery life is average and charging is slow. While the phone generally lasts a day, heavy screen usage on busier days might require a quick recharge. A full charge can take over 100 minutes, and a charger needs to be purchased separately. Overall, the Pixel 7a presents itself as an impressive choice, combining excellent camera capabilities, Google's software prowess, and an affordable price point. The era of compromising quality for affordability when purchasing a budget smartphone is long gone. The current affordable Android phones have put an end to slow speeds, outdated charging methods, and infrequent updates. Mid-range smartphones are positioned between flagships and budget phones. This type of phone appeals to people who don't want to splurge and buy the most expensive one but at the same time don't want the worst phone. However, getting the best mid-range phones is quite challenging when you have plenty of models available on the market with a decent design and innovative features. All the parks mentioned above are a perfect blend of versatility and innovation, providing the users the best in-class experience. Choose wisely which product suits you the best and will fulfill all your requirements. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys in the next one.